Hey, I would like to thank the Sydney Mechanics School of Art and the Thomas Keneally Library. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Stephanie May and I am a first time author of Cherry. Um, I'm very proud of this work, if I may say so myself. Um, it took me about three years to complete, um, a few different editors, a lot of money poured into this. Um, and I have thanks to give to the New South Wales Writer Centre for having this baby in my hand right now. Um, Cherry is a fictional novel and it is set in a fictitious town called Cattles Creek where the protagonist Cherry Daly uh, wants to change her life. Uh, she is surrounded by red dust and cattle and sheep and she's been that way for her whole life, 21 years of existence, almost 21, and she wants to leave and set her sights for Sydney. Um, in Sydney there is a prestigious pin-up pageant called Miss Pin-up Chevrolet and she wants to enter hoping that if she wins the crown, if she takes home the title, then it will change her life. Um, so that's what she does. She packs up her bags, um, she goes to the orientation night, the audition night, she gets in. And basically the book Cherry is about not the end result, but it is about her journey throughout the pageant. Um, so it's the people that she meets, it's the opportunities that she's been given, Given, it's the hardships um, that she learns. So it's not exactly a coming of age novel, um, but it is definitely um, aimed at young adults. Um, it does make me proud to say though that a few um, older males have read this and have quite liked it themselves. So I will say that it is something for all ages. Um, there are a lot of, um, there's a lot of nostalgia in here. So it talks about things from the present day but it also talks a lot about um, the 50s. So you've got Bridget Bardot, Marilyn Monroe, James Dean, Elvis Presley, um, all, of the, all of the great acts that were around in the day. So that's why I think that it might appeal to the old generation. Um, and you know what? I'm, I set out with creating a goal, trying to achieve something that I've never done before. And I'm pretty proud of my efforts. Again, if I may say so myself, um, I, am, I basically did it to see what people's reaction would be. And I've gotten an extremely good reaction from a lot of different people, people that I've never even met before. Um, so it's given me the green light to go ahead and to try and do something else. And that's exactly what I'm doing at the moment. So although Cherry has been an extremely it has been a difficult but very rewarding experience. Um, I'm happy to say that I am on to my next novel, um, which is extremely different as well. Um, it's called Love Doesn't End With Death and it is a romantic drama set in the 60s during the time of the Vietnam War. Um, so I am definitely going to go down this path now that I've been given the encouragement from different people. Um, and I hope that you all will join me on this journey. Um, it's been a very, very pleasant experience for me. Um, I've learned a lot about myself and um, other people as well. So I'm pretty happy with my efforts. Um, in a closing note, all I can say um, is that if there's anybody out there who is thinking of doing something like this, and I say just go for it, um, because honestly, it's when this came out, when I held this in my hand for the first time after years, I cannot tell you, I, can, I can't really describe the feeling. And it's funny because I'm an author and I should be able to have all of these words just popping into my mind, but it really, it was indescribable. Um, so if any of you guys out there have a dream of becoming an author, then I say, you know what, just do it. Don't do it my way. I kind of did it backwards. I kind of wrote this first and then went and, and studied a bit later when I thought it was crap, basically. Um, but so yeah, don't do it backwards like I did. Um, um, I would say go to courses, um, continue to write. And one of the biggest things actually is just continuing to read, reading other people's work, seeing what other authors can bring to the table, their style of writing, their influences, their ideologies, um, everything like that combines to make a great, great book. And you can obviously add your own flavor in there as well. Um, and another great place, as I've already mentioned, is the New South Wales Writers Centre. To you guys, I give my absolute thanks. You guys will be seeing me again soon. And to anybody else out there, that's you know what it doesn't even have to do with a book if you have a dream I say you know what go out and chase it because you never know what's going to happen and you never know what the outcome will be thank you very much